Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today it is back. It is back by popular request, by high demand. You guys really wanted me to work with Zerzhov on another discount code collaboration. Honestly, you guys, it is definitely amongst the three most popular brands that you guys always ask me to get a discount for. It's like Zerzhov, Parfum de Mali, and like maybe MFK, which would never happen. But yeah, you guys always want to get a code with Zerzhov. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be quickly talking about how the code is going to work and also going over a bunch of my favorite Zerzhov fragrances, the ones that I recommend to women. And I just cannot wait. You guys cannot imagine imagine what I am facing right now. It is a table full of Zerzhov and Kazimarati fragrances and I'm it's giving me so much anxiety because I'm like how am I going to film this video in under 30 minutes without going on so many different tangents but anyways let's get into it. Like I said Zerzhov and I are working on another discount code together so you guys can use the code DEMI10. I will put all of the information in the description bar down below in case you guys need to see it in front of your eyes. Um, you can use the code DEMI10 for 10% off from the 26th of October to the 2nd of November. So the code is not for two months, it's quite a short duration for the code. And this is what I am so excited about, you guys. Maybe you will not be as excited as me, but basically when I spoke to the brand about working together on this discount code, they said to me, let's do something nice. Let's do a gift with purchase. And I was like, absolutely. We definitely have to give my community a nice gift with purchase if they use the code. And they were suggesting a hair mist, but I've done that in the past already. We've already done hair mist. You guys all have your reserves of hair mist. So we decided to work together on a beautiful introduction set to Zerzhov, a discovery set, let's call it. Now, I was thinking about this discovery set and I was like, okay, I really want to put in my favorite Zerzhov fragrances. But then I thought maybe a lot of you guys already have my favorites because I talk about them all the time. La Capitale, Dama Bianca, uh, Overture. Maybe you guys already own my favorites. So what I did instead this time is ask you guys on Instagram, what Zerzhov fragrance do you most want to try? These are the samples that you guys most wanted to try from Zerzhov. So with every order using the Demi 10 discount code, you will get this beautiful gift for free. So what you have, oh my gosh, you guys, I already know this video is going to be way too long because look how much I'm going on about it. You have a sample of my new favorite Zerzhov fragrance. It is called White on White, which is the newest fragrance from Zerzhov and it is incredible. I have my bottle here. I am so excited to talk to you guys about it, but it's currently my obsession. Then you have a sample of the most exclusive Zerzhov fragrance, which is called Via Cavour 1. You guys all wanted to try a sample of Via Cavour 1 and it is stunning. It's usually an exclusive to the Milan Boutique, but Zerzhov have just done a release of the fragrance online. But I have put a little sample here for you guys as per your request. Then next up, we have Herba Gold. All of you guys wanted to try Herba Gold and then finally, we have Torino 22, which as you guys know, is one of my current favorite Zerzhov fragrances. And on top of all those samples, you will also get a 15 ml of Apollonia. It is just spectacular. You guys know because you've, if you watch my videos, how much I love Apollonia. And honestly, you guys, this is not a joke. These were the most requested when I did, I like wrote down every single Zerzhov fragrance that you guys wanted to sample. And these were the most requested by far, maybe along with Tony Iommi and one other, but these were the most requested by far. So you have Apollonia 15 ml, White on White, Via Cabo 1, Herba Gold and Torino 22. So I am just so excited. If you guys use the code DEMI10, you will get this as a free gift with purchase. Of course, you have to um, purchase a full size bottle. So either a 50 ml or a 100 ml, whatever. But it doesn't apply if you just buy like a discovery set or something. It only applies for a full bottle purchase. And I'm not trying to say this to influence you guys to buy it, but there is only 300 of these boxes. And then after the 300 are sold out, um, you guys will get a hair mist. So 
if you want this beautiful discovery set, I recommend trying to use the code like as soon as it goes live because there is only 300 of these the team already told me. And I just think it's so beautiful and you have all the new fragrances in here. 15 ml of Apollonia. I am just so, like I feel like I created it. Like I didn't, but I feel like I created it because I'm so proud of this. <laughs> I think I'm going to start out with White on White because like I said, it is my new favorite Zerzhov fragrance. White on White is my dream milky fragrance. This is, no joke you guys, my dream milky perfume. Now, milk notes in fragrance can be a little bit difficult. Sometimes they go a little bit like spoiled milk. Sometimes they don't really even smell like milk. I don't know what they did with white on white, but it is absolute perfection. What you have is this beautiful, smooth, slightly fresh, milky fragrance with a touch of fig leaf, some iris, some sandalwood, a little touch of sweetness. It's very creamy. It's very soft. It's pillowy. It just smells like a dream, you guys. Now, don't think because it's a milky fragrance that it's going to feel really dense and thick and heavy. It doesn't at all. I don't know what they did, but Zerzhov have perfectly balanced this fragrance where there is still a little bit of a freshness, but you have that milkiness. You have that slight little touch of fig. And you know me, guys, I'm not a big fan of fig fragrances like Philosophos from Diptyque. I do like a touch of fig in fragrances like in Gris Chanel, like in White on White. It just adds that little, I don't know, that little slightly green kind of earthiness going on. And it's just beautiful. Like I am, I'm not joking you guys. This is literally my personal dream milky fragrance right here. I have been wearing it nonstop. It is up on my favorite shelf every single day. And I'm not joking as well. The compliments on this one are insane, especially from Pierre. Every time I wear this fragrance, Pierre gives me a compliment. It smells really chic, really beautiful, really creamy, perfect for the fall and winter, but also fresh enough that you could also wear this scent in the spring and summer months. It's just beautiful. Like I know I'm going on about it, but it is absolutely incredible. And like I said, for me personally, maybe not for you guys, this is my personal milky fragrance dream. It smells really like chic. There is something very chic about it. It's smooth. It's creamy. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just obsessed with it. So white on white from Zerzhov. Also, I want to mention the longevity and projection is great. On my skin, it lasts around seven hours with a minimal projection. People will definitely be able to smell you, but it's not going to project, you know, it's not going to enter the room before you. But I love the scent. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm quickly going to talk about a fragrance that you know I love so much. This is Ivory Root from Zerzhov. This is definitely a scent that I would recommend picking up with my code because it is just this is a fragrance in my collection that I would really consider to be a masterpiece I don't use that word lightly there is probably not any other Zerzhov fragrance in here that I would consider a masterpiece except for ivory root this is just the most incredible spicy woody slightly vanillic scent and it's just wow like it is breathtaking it is opulent it is luxurious it is incredible what you have is sandalwood i think you have some other woody notes in here you have a spiciness you have a little bit of patchouli i definitely pick up a vanilla note as well it's just so like luxurious that i cannot even explain it to you guys actually for me this is the sort of scent that i wear for a very formal dinner for an event where i want to smell yeah very formal that's when i pull for ivory root the longevity and projection is fantastic on ivory root for me it lasts around eight hours on my skin with a pretty big projection people will be able to smell you probably give you a compliment it smells luxurious elegant refined just just intoxicating you guys so i really recommend ivory root if you followed me for a while you know that i love this scent and it will forever be in my collection you can see i wear this one sparingly because for me it's a very special fragrance in my collection but i totally totally recommend so let's talk about a casmarati which casmarati you guys are so popular on tiktok i have never seen this in my life people are obsessed with casmarati now the most underrated Casmarati fragrance, in my opinion, is Bouquet Ideal. I don't know why people love Dama Bianca, Lira Italica, but nobody speaks about Bouquet Ideal. And for me, 
it's actually by far the sexiest of the three sisters. Bouquet Ideal is by far the sexiest, let me say that again. I, you can see as well from my bottle here, like this is, this is one of my favorite fragrances. It is incredibly addictive and very sexy. Oh my gosh. What you have with Bouquet Ideal is this gorgeous kind of spicy sandalwood, kind of vanillic cinnamon, just bordering a gourmand but not going too far into that territory. Italica is a true gourmand. Lyra is a true gourmand. Bouquet Ideal, this one is borderlining the gourmand territory. It's not too sweet but it's just perfect in my opinion and like I said it is by far the most sexy out of all of the Casamirati. I do also feel like this is not typically feminine. I personally feel like a man could easily wear this. It's not too sweet, it's not too feminine. It's just incredible. Vanilla, cinnamon, sandalwood, maybe a bit of tonka bean. It's spicy, it's sweet, but not too much. It's just incredible, you guys. Like, really, really incredible. And I have mentioned it before. Sometimes Pierre will actually request that I wear Bouquet Ideal on, like, a date or something. He'll be like, can you wear Bouquet Ideal? And I'm like, yes. The longevity projection is fantastic on Bouquet Ideal. It lasts on my skin around eight hours with a really big projection. I actually just got complimented from somebody in the perfume industry maybe about three weeks ago. I was wearing Bouquet Ideal at Dubai Mall and this person from the industry, I'm not going to say who, but they gave me a huge compliment on Bouquet Ideal. Incredible 12 out of 10 fragrance that I really recommend. It is by far the most underrated from the Casamirati collection and for me it's by far the sexiest. So yes. Let's quickly let's go to La Capitale. You can see she's finished. She is gone. I have used the whole entire bottle of La Capitale out of all of the fragrances in this video. There's probably my like three most complimented and La Capitale is one of them. This is the most gorgeous, addictive, very sticky, fruity leather scent. You have caramel and red fruits and leather. You can see from my bottle, guys, how narcissistic I am because I just want to be complimented every time I wear this scent. I am kidding, but to be honest with you guys, that's the reason that I wore it so much is because when people would tell me, oh my gosh, you smell incredible. What's your perfume? You smell amazing. What is that? I, I love to hear that. It's my favorite compliment in the world besides being told like you're very kind or you're very nice. I love to be told that I smell good and every time I wore La Capitale somebody told me I smell good. So it's just an amazing scent you guys. It has a beautiful sillage like this one leaves the most gorgeous trail behind you which is strange because sometimes myself I go anosmic to it and I'm like thinking can I is my perfume still there? it leaves the most beautiful trail, trust me on that one. And it's just an incredibly addictive fragrance. You have that red fruitiness, which is quite feminine in a way. You have that kind of sticky caramelized scent, and then you have the leather, but it's not too much and too aggressive. It's perfectly done and it feels a little bit airy as well. So that's why I love it and I really recommend it. For me, it works all year round. I know that's a little bit strange to say that you could wear this in the summer, but you can, like it's a very, uh, it depends on your taste, of course, but me, I can wear this one in a heat. I love, love, love it. La Capitale from Dodo. <laughs> so next up we have a Cento Overdose. You guys know I love this one. I'm still recommending it in 2023. A Cento Overdose is an angel. This is an angel in a bottle, a beautiful, just angelic goddess in a bottle. This is one of the most beautiful and powerful white floral fragrances that I own. It is incredibly strong, but just so well done. What you have here is a jasmine dominant fragrance with a little bit of a greenness going on, definitely a sweetness and a slightly, like very slightly like out of hitic touch and a bit of a woodiness in the base. It is just so beautiful. It's very potent. So I do want to warn you guys that if you're prone to migraines or headaches from your scent, be careful with Accento Overdose because it is very strong and it's the sort of scent that you're going to smell on yourself. Like you will definitely smell this on you 
all day long it's incredible though like really you guys this is another fragrance like ivory root that i wear when i want to feel opulent and i want to feel dressed up and i want to feel classy and beautiful and feminine that's when i wear a cento overdose it is an incredibly well done white floral fragrance that is super strong oh my gosh it is just heavenly apollonia apollonia is another fragrance that i would consider to be angelic beautiful goddess just so effortlessly chic now like i said in the discovery set you will get a 15 ml of apollonia because all of you guys really wanted a bottle of it and i totally understand why i have spoken about this one a lot recently and it's because i really feel like it fits my vibe at this point in my life not that i have a vibe but i want to smell chic and beautiful and elegant and clean and classic and that is everything that Apollonia represents. It is the most, truly, the best white musk fragrance that I have tried in the industry. I've smelled so many white musk musk fragrances. This is by far the best one that I've tried. It's buttery, it's pillowy, it's soft, almost suede-like. It's just really a masterpiece. Again, this is another fragrance from the list that I would say. This is a masterpiece level musk fragrance and it is just yeah, very, very, very special. So I really hope that some of you guys get to try the little 15ml of it and see if you fall in love and maybe want to purchase a full bottle because it is really, really gorgeous. The beauty of this fragrance is in its simplicity. It's just this beautiful white musk fragrance done to perfection. So I really recommend it. I love it so much. And like I said, you're going to have the little 15ml of it. One of my current favorite Zerzhoffs is, of course, Torino 22. I have talked about this one a lot recently and it's so strange because I had kind of like a delayed obsession with this scent. When I first received the fragrance, I really did love it. This was last year, of course. I loved the scent, like I, I really liked it. I started to wear it a little bit, but then I kind of put it aside, but it definitely didn't compete with my love for other Zerzhoff scents. But something happened this year and I just became hooked on Torino 22. You can see from my bottle, I just fell in love with the scent. What you're going to get is this very interesting kind of green, slightly aromatic, sweet, airy, woody fragrance. I hope that that makes sense because the scent is truly incredible. You have some aromatic green notes in the top. You have this beautiful kind of um, addictive sweetness in the scent. And then is, there is, of course, like a woodiness in the base, but something about the combination of those notes together it just smells incredibly addictive you guys like really captivating really addictive big compliment getter as well like i cannot tell you how many times people have commented on my scent when i'm wearing torino 22 there is something very addictive about the way that it sits on the skin and this one is going to leave a really big sillage trail behind you when you're walking just a 10 out of 10 for me and like i said it was a slow burn but i'm so happy that i jumped on board finally and now it is an obsession for me like really an obsession where are all my gourmand lovers at <laughs> where are all my gourmand lovers this is of course lira from Azamarati. Now, everyone is obsessed with gourmands. Everyone loves a sweet, addictive scent, especially on TikTok. Lyra is, of course, really popular within the fragrance community. Like, it's probably the most popular Casamirati within the community. It's Lyra. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows how it smells. So I'm just going to quickly breeze through it. But if you are somebody who loves gourmands, especially you love a contrast of citrus gourmand, you must get Lyra. Like you must add it to your collection for this fall and winter because it is perfect. Yeah, it is, honestly, you guys, it is so incredible. Like, I wish I lived somewhere where it got very cold because I think I would wear Lyra as, like, my signature scent. It is stunning. It is one of the best, most delicious gourmand fragrances that I have ever smelled, really. It smells to me like Christmas cookies. This is Christmas cookies in a bottle. This is literally the perfect fragrance to wear on Christmas morning. If you guys live somewhere cold, you have to have Lyra, at least a sample of it to give it a go. It's incredible. What you have is blood orange, which brings that kind of citrusy facet. You have some cinnamon to bring the spice. You have some caramel 
caramel in there, vanilla. It is just so delicious, you guys. And I really, really recommend this one. On my skin, it lasts around eight hours with a really good projection. So I 100% recommend this to you guys, especially for the fall and winter especially for Christmas. Like it's just the perfect scent. Next up, we have probably the most underrated Zerzhov for me. I have spoken about it myself a lot, but I feel like not many people know about Overture or talk about Overture, but for me, it's definitely a standout from the Zerzhov collection. And you guys know, again, if you follow me, you know how much I love it. And you know that I brought this fragrance with me twice to the Maldives, because for me, this scent is so incredibly multifaceted and just so unique that I cannot even put it into words. I have never really smelled anything like this scent in my life. Like really, it's a very, very unique fragrance that is truly spectacular. What you have with Overture is this very interesting combination of cinnamon, sandalwood, fig leaf, ylang ylang, incense like it's very very peculiar there is definitely as well like an overall sweetness to the scent but it's so unique you guys like it's for me it's very creamy and woody but it has a sweetness you definitely feel that slightly fig kind of touch in there like a bit of a green uh woodiness and you feel a sweetness so it's creamy it's balmy it's woody it's slightly sweet and green it's spectacular, you guys, like absolutely spectacular. And why I think it's so unique is because this fragrance works so beautifully in the heat. Like I am telling you, I took it on my trips to tropical places. It works like a freaking dream, but it's also warm enough for you guys to wear in the fall and winter as, yet, as well. So this is a sort of scent that you can wear all year round, summer, autumn, winter, spring. But a pro tip from me is to wear this scent on a summer evening. On a summer evening, when your skin is a little bit humid and you're somewhere outside, this fragrance just does something magical and it is truly incredible. So big compliment getter from me. Longevity and projection is fantastic. Around eight hours on my skin with a beautiful projection. Like it definitely projects. It's not super intimate to the skin. Just a fantastic overall scent that you guys need to try. You know I love this one, but I obviously wanted to put it in the video because if you have not tried it yet, you really should. It's very slept on from Zerzhov, but it's really, it means something to me, this fragrance, because I love it so much. Okay, let's quickly talk about the most gourmand fragrance, which you guys know if you watch some of my recent videos. I am not personally the biggest fan of Italica. Again, it could be where I live because it's very hot where I live. But Italica, if I look at it objectively, this is one of the best gourmand fragrances in the world. Really in the world. If you want something super sweet, like really sweet and really intense and really strong, you must get Italica. Now, I know there is a lot of people that will definitely be able to handle the sweetness and the intensity of this fragrance. I am just not one of those people, but I wanted to include it in here because I know fall and winter is coming, Christmas is coming, and I just think it's the perfect gourmand fragrance if you love very sweet gourmand scents. Italica. Wow, like it is so strong, you guys. Just opening the cap, I could smell it already. What you have here is a very prominent bitter almond note mixed with a toffee note, which brings something a little bit breadish about the scent. You also have a saffron note, a milky note, and also, of course, like some vanilla and other very gourmand notes in here. But it is really Guys, it is really one of the best gourmand, like very edible gourmand scents that I have ever tried. Not to mention it is a beast. This one lasts around 12 hours on the skin. 12 freaking hours. This one is going to stick with you with a really good projection. So like I said, it's not for me personally, but I had to include it in this video because I know there is so many people that love, love, love very, very sweet gourmand scents. And if that is you watching right now, you have to get Italica. Herba Golds. You guys have all been asking my thoughts on Herba Gold. Now, I also have Herba Pura here, but if I can only recommend you guys to buy one 
and you have the sample of Herba Gold in the Discovery set, by the way. But if I can only recommend you guys to buy one, it would be Herba Gold. And I'm not just saying that because it's new. I'm going to tell you guys exactly why I personally prefer Herba Gold. So let me just say something right now. To an amateur nose, and I don't mean that in a demeaning way by any means, but I mean to somebody who doesn't know a lot about perfumery, Herba Pura and Herba Gold are gonna smell almost the same. Like, that's just a fact. They're gonna smell almost the same because there is very, very subtle differences between the two. But I'm gonna to explain to you guys why I prefer Herba Gold. Herba Gold definitely has more of this kind of punchy, tropical fruitiness in the top. It almost feels like there could be a touch of mango or pineapple or something very tropical fruity about it in the opening and as it starts to dry down the fragrance becomes much sweeter and more ambery than herba pura you guys know herba pura it has that very intense kind of musky ambroxan feeling in the base i don't feel that as much in herba gold i more get this kind of sweet fruity ambriness and i am obsessed with it absolutely obsessed with it like they really amplified that fun fruity dna and kept a little bit of this kind of sweet sexy amberiness so for me personally i prefer herba gold i feel like some of you guys that had an issue with like the musk the ambroxan in herba pura would prefer herba gold so i just wanted to tell you guys that it is an incredible release it does smell similar do not be strayed it does it does smell very similar to herba pura but People that are into perfumery, you will know those subtle differences between the two scents. So I am obsessed with it. I am loving it. Of course, longevity and projection is almost the same as Herba Pura, around seven hours on my skin with a nice minimal projection. So if you're wondering which one I prefer, you guys know anyways, Herba Pura was never my favorite Zerzhov, but out of the two, I do prefer Herba Gold. Next up, we have Cambridge Club. Now, this fragrance to me is not the most unique DNA. It definitely has the similar scent profile to Montal Intense Cafe, Roses Vanille from Mancera, Gentle Fluidity Gold. If you love all of those scents, it, Cambridge Club is a no-brainer. You're going to love it, be obsessed with it because it's very similar to that scent profile. The sweet, addictive, kind of sticky sweet rose fragrance. That is what you're gonna get with Cambridge Club. But I have to say, and I have said it in the past, out of all of those scents, Cambridge Club is by far the best. In terms of quality, longevity, projection, everything, Cambridge Club is definitely the best for me. I have worn all of them. I own most of those scent DNAs of Montal, Intense Cafe, Roses Vanille, Gentle Fluidity Gold. I own all of them. And for me, my favorite is definitely Cambridge Club. And for me, it definitely smells the best. I have to say it smells the best. Next up, we have Dama Bianca from Casmarati. Dama Bianca, she has really had a year herself. I have seen so many people buy Dama Bianca this year, fall madly in love with the scent and just, yeah, fall in love with Dama Bianca. And it's for a good reason. The scent, if you have never smelled it, is so incredible, you guys. And it's quite nostalgic for me personally because it reminds me of Flower by Kenzo a little bit, like ever so subtly. There is something about Dama Bianca that brings me back to my childhood because my mom used to wear the scent. And it's just so beautiful. It's musky, it's smooth, it's a little bit fresh, powdery, sweet, angelic, just feminine and just angel-like. It's just so incredible you guys and i have actually recommended this to people for their wedding day i feel like this would make the most beautiful bridal fragrance in the world it smells innocent and pure and fluffy and soft and sweet of course this fragrance is a vanilla but it's not it's not obvious that it's a vanilla fragrance it has vanilla but you also have that little bit of freshness that powderiness that muskiness it's just so so stunning you guys so Obviously, I recommend Dama Bianca. I think it would make a beautiful signature, a beautiful wedding day scent. It's a 10 out of 10 with amazing longevity and projection around eight hours on my skin with a minimal soft projection. Just such a beautiful fragrance. Next up, we have Tony Iommi. 
Now, this fragrance is not going to be for all of you watching. This is definitely more of a masculine leaning scent. But if you know me, you know that I love wearing masculine, feminine, unisex fragrances for me. It doesn't matter. But my gosh, is Tony Iommi incredible? This is a boozy, slightly spicy, caramelized passion fruit. Just this crazy, like cocktail of notes that just somehow works so well you guys so incredibly well you have like i said a booziness you have a patchouli note which is very obvious in the fragrance so be careful if you don't like patchouli you have the sweetness from some caramel you have a passion fruit note you have a bit of leather it's just so just so unique so punchy so attention grabbing so sexy intoxicating really they did a fantastic job with tony iomi but like i said perhaps it's not going to be for a lot of women that are watching me because i know a lot of girls that are watching me you like to smell more sweet and feminine tony iomi it's more femme fatale this is a femme fatale fragrance if you're a woman and you want to buy it femme fatale it's strong it's powerful it's commanding it's dark it's sexy it's just spectacular. I love the scent and I wear it from time to time and it is so strong, you guys. This one, it's around eight hours plus with a really good projection. People will be able to smell you, compliment you. Very sexy night out scent. I love it so much. Tony Iommi. I wish I could literally speak about Zerzhoff fragrances all day long because it's one of my favorite brands in the world. You guys know that. And I'm stressed because the video is... Do -do -do. Oh, we have to talk about this one. Cruise del Sword 2. Guys, Cruise del Sword 2 is one of the best mango fragrances. You guys know I'm a big fan of mango. My favorite, honestly, is probably like God of Fire for like more of a fresh mango scent. And if I want a creamy mango scent, it has to be Cruise del Sword 2. Guys, Cruise del Sword 2 is a very like kind of green, creamy mango fragrance. This is a green, creamy mango scent. This is smooth, very sweet, and very woody in the base. And it is just incredible. There is almost like the feeling for me that the mango is underripe in here, which is why I say that it has a little bit of a green touch. Oh my gosh, it is so addictive. You obviously have a beautiful vanilla note running through the scent. And you also have a lot of woodiness underneath. It smells like a tropical paradise in a bottle. This fragrance works so beautifully in the heat, you guys. Like a, a summer night wearing Cruz del Sur 2 in like Bali. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10 mango fragrance with amazing longevity and projection. This one will stick with you for hours and hours and hours and leave a beautiful trail. Next up, we have Golden Dollar, which is my personal favorite from the coffee collection, the coffee break collection. I love Golden Dollar. And actually, it kind of reminds me of a more bitter, less sweet version of Minuit de Me. So of course, I love it because this scent DNA with an addictive coffee note is really up my alley. What you get with Golden Dollar is quite a dry kind of roasted coffee, like a dark roasted coffee with some spices and woods and a slight sweetness there. It's truly incredible. And in terms of like a dark roasted coffee scent, Golden Dollar is definitely the best. It's, I don't know, there is something very addictive and very realistic about it. And I actually wore this fragrance, I think it was about four weeks ago, I went on a date with Pierre, of course, and I mixed Golden Dala with Intoxicated from Killian. You guys, if you own those two fragrances, please trust me and try that scent layering combination because it was literally, wow. Like Golden Dala with Intoxicated, oh my gosh, it was to die for. So finally, I wanted to talk about this fragrance because a lot of you guys have asked my opinion and my thoughts on Alhat from Zerzhov. <laughs> so I think a lot of people are under the assumption that this smells like Mugler's Alien, which definitely there is some similarities there, but I am going to tell you guys something about Alhat that you have to be careful about, really. This fragrance is amazing. Let me just say that straight off the bat. It really is amazing, but it is skanky. It is a little bit dirty, a little bit skanky. Like there is something slightly fecal about the scent. 
and I don't mean that in a bad way because of course it depends on your taste but I don't want any of you guys to go out and blind buy this fragrance. This is something that you need to sample and try unless you like a little bit of skank in your sense and you like a little bit of something animalic because basically Alatad is this incredible, very sexy, very raw, carnal jasmine fragrance like Mugler's Alien but with this additional skanky note and it is really incredible you guys like really really incredible and actually I made this like correlation like a few months ago this fragrance smells like the Huda Beauty's powder I don't know if you guys know the the loose powder from Huda Beauty it smells like Haltat because it definitely has something a bit skanky about it the Huda powder it smells like this but amazing fragrance I just wouldn't recommend anyone to blind buy because of that skanky note but it's a very delicious like indolic sexual jasmine fragrance that is just amazing I didn't have time to go through the whole list actually but if you guys have any questions about Zerzhov, Kazmarati, K Collection that you want to ask me and you want to ask my advice. I am your girl because I really know Zerzhov fragrances very well. I love them so much. You guys know I've been talking about them for years and years now. And if you guys have any questions or you want any guidance for the discount code, I will be here to answer them for you. So don't forget that we are offering this incredible discovery set for anyone that uses the code DEMI10 from October 26th. To November 2nd that's when the code will be running and the code will be live this will be your beautiful gift with purchase Apollonia white on white via cover one Herba gold and Torino 22 um, and yeah I just cannot wait for the code you guys I hope you will enjoy your purchases uh, remember that there are only 300 of these and then you will get um, the remaining people will get a hair mist but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you need any assistance, any guidance, any help with what fragrances to purchase. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.